Hello and welcome to another video for GMAS. This is our third video. I call this GMAS 3. And what we're going to cover is setting the CC and the BCC fields in Gmail. Now we know you've got a Gmail account. We know you're using the Chrome browser and you have GMAS. This video is for somebody who's already used GMAS and we're going to cover this one particular topic, setting those two fields. So let's go to our Gmail account. This is where we're going to create the account. Now you know if you have GMAS, you click on this button and it automatically integrates with Google Sheets. Google Sheets looks like this. I created a Google Sheet for the purpose of this demonstration. I just have two recipients. I have Bob Smith and Ted Jones and there's their email addresses. Now what I did was I created two additional columns. One just says CC, the other one says BCC. That's all you want to put in those fields. And I have a different person, recipient, for each one, both for the CC and for the blind copy. And what I'm going to do after we send this email, I'm going to go and I'm going to show you how it then arrived in this inbox to show you that it got there. I'm going to also take a look at this inbox. I have a couple different browsers running so we can do that. So we don't have to take the time to log in and log out. But right now, let's go ahead and integrate this with Google Sheets. And it's asking us to select one, and we already I named this one Setting the CC and BCC Fields. So we click there, and integrated, and there's our email. Okay, now the subject I'm going to call Hello, Hello. We can see that show up in the inboxes. Now we're only seeing our two recipients here. We're not seeing the other ones, and if I click on these boxes and open it up, it's it's not showing it in the CC either, and it's showing the BCC field as blank, but they are in there. So let's type our message. Hello again. Sincerely, Joe. Okay. So... When we're all hooked up, connected, we always want to double check. We've got our subject, there's our recipients, and we've got our greeting, our message, our signature. We're ready to go. Let's go ahead and send that message. Okay, the message is gone. Now, I just heard my cell phone buzz, so I know that the message got there. That was the, one of the primary recipients. But we want to check that CC and the BCC field because that's why we're running this demonstration today. So first let's check the carbon copy, the CC, and there it is. Hello, hello. This is the one that went to the CC field for the first recipient. And there's the message. And then we want to check, I'm going to go to another browser. This is the new Windows 10 browser. This is the one, the BCC recipient, and there it is, hello, hello, and it went there. So what you might want to consider doing, you know, the first time you try this, is go ahead and set up a little test um, until you become real familiar with it, and, and just to make sure that it works, you might want to think about using, you know, a small list like this. Um, there's any number of reasons. You may want to put the same person, the same recipient in all of your... Uh, uh, you know, for all the CCs or, or the same thing for your blind copies. You might want to put the same person in a different person. The system is designed to read from left to right in each row. You know, it's going to read the primary recipient and then it's going to attach the, the CC to that same uh, row, row two, and then it's the same thing with the BCC and so on down the list. So you may want to try a little test with it just to practice once or twice, but um, it's really a very versatile uh, option that we've added. We're adding options so quickly that it's hard to keep up with them all. But I think you're going to like this. Now always remember you can go to our website which is gmas.co and you can find all kinds of interesting things and then every time we add a new feature it goes on our blog and the link to the blog is down at the bottom of the website. You go to our blog, in fact here it is, secret feature, set the CC and BCC fields and it's described in depth in this blog post. So I hope you have enjoyed the video um, and we're happy to see it. We're going to make more videos because as I said, we're, every day we're coming out with new and exciting options. So take care. Thanks for watching.